To mark South Korea's Liberation Day on Monday, the nation's ruling and opposition party lawmakers have come together for a planned visit to the easternmost island of Dokdo, part of efforts to counter Japan's false claims of sovereignty over the territory. Kwon so starts us off. Ten lawmakers from the ruling Senuri Party, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea, and minor opposition People's Party are scheduled to visit Dokdo Island on Monday to mark National Liberation Day, the 71st anniversary of Korea's independence. The legislators are expected to offer words of encouragement to the Dokdo Guards, the police force that protects the islets. They'll also inspect facilities there and meet with civic groups also visiting Dokdo. Senori Party lawmaker Na Gyeong Won, who is heading Monday's delegation, criticized the Japanese government Sunday for expressing disapproval of the politician's trip. She said she's appalled by the complaint and that Tokyo is overreacting, as there shouldn't be a problem with South Korean parliamentarians visiting South Korean territory. Na, who's the chairwoman of Parliament's Foreign Affairs and Unification Committee, urged a review of Korea's, quote, silent diplomacy when it comes to the Tokdo issue, since Tokyo shows no signs of backing down from its false claim that Tokdo, which it calls Takeshima, belongs to Japan. For its part, Seoul's foreign ministry said it has again made clear to Tokyo that Tokdo is South Korean territory by international law and on the basis of geography and history. Monday's trip will be the first time in three years that sitting lawmakers have made an official visit to Tokdo, as long as the weather and sea conditions cooperate. Kwon Arirang News.